Lecture number eight, the Ocho. Announcements. Project one is due on Thursday, just before midnight. Midterm one is next week, next Monday from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. in various locations across campus. There will be two review sessions on Saturday, run by the course staff, one from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m., and the other from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. They're both the same, so plan to go to one, but not both. There's also an HKN review session that will be different on Sunday from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. in the Valley Life Science Building. I hear that the core staff is planning some extra office hours over the weekend. Details will be announced on Piazza. And this midterm will include topics up to and including this lecture, but not Friday's lecture. If you cannot attend the midterm, you need a good reason, such as a class conflict, uh, you can fill out the form on the website and let us know, and then you can take the makeup midterm on Tuesday. Homework three is posted, but it's not due next week because you have to take an exam. So instead, it's due in two weeks, but it's full of problems that you can solve right now so recursion problems, which means you can practice for the midterm by doing your homework. So it's up to you whether you do it before or after the midterm, but I would recommend using those problems to practice. Also, there is an optional hog contest, where your job is to come up with the best strategy for hog that you can. And it ends on Thursday, October 3rd. What is the rules for the hog contest? Well, there are several. You can read the details, but the highlights are that up to two people can submit one entry. You can work in pairs, but you can only have one entry per person. Your score will be the number of entries by other people in the class against which you win more than 50% of the time. All strategies that are submitted must be deterministic pure functions of the current player scores. Non-deterministic strategies are not allowed. And we're adding a special rule called ham hijinks. You can read about the details in the contest description, but the basic idea is that if you want, you can switch the four-sided die and the six-sided dice so that your opponent thinks they're rolling six-sided dice, but in fact, they're rolling four-sided dice, or vice versa. Now, you only get one point when you do this, so it'll cost you the lead early on, but your trickery might serve you well in the end. Okay, to enter, you submit Proj1 Contest with a file, hog.py, that defines a final strategy. So you could even just submit the hog.py that you've already written and enter into the contest and see how it goes. What happens when you win? You win not one, but two points of extra credit for being the victor among this entire class. Now, two points isn't much, but you also win honor and glory. And that honor and glory will persist for years. The 2011 winners are here. The 2012 winners are here. And the 2013 winners have yet to be determined but your name could go on all future versions of this slide if you win the hog contest.